Hey, what is going on guys? Today, I'm actually gonna do what has been requested before, is to kinda do like a how-to in a way of like, how to tandem I guess. I'm just gonna be like, talking about, well, like right now I'm tandeming, I'm just gonna like, talk about some of the things I do in order to keep really close to someone's door. Um, so, as I've stated before, like many, 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 many times, it is very important to have a very good setup. Uh, well, I mean, it should be your own personal setup as how you want your brakes to work, because left foot braking is like super important in tandeming. And I'll try to demonstrate here. Oh, never mind. So, like right here in this instance, I'm gonna take the inside line. And then, as soon as he goes to the transition, that wasn't really good, but I trans transition a little bit earlier than him, just so I can be like right on his door as soon as he's transitioned. I'm not really doing a good example here, but here I'll come up on him, and break a little bit. Oh, well, this person's going to get in the way. Also, like, uh, I'm doing such a horrible job of trying to explain this right now, but... Um, see I'm like in the inside here, I use the handbrake to get myself like, you want to aim for like the exact middle of his side of his car, like right at his door. If you like hit anywhere else, you're most likely just going to hit him and then spin out. So like right here, that's kind of a bit laggy but as soon as I pull the handbrake, aim towards the middle of the door and then if you look at the bottom right corner, you can see my brake inputs. And see how I'm like super consistent on his door right now? That's because, oh well, I don't know if I caused that or is that a lack of it, but. Okay, I stole the car out. Um, so, I mean that might have been a good example, but I'll try again here. See how I'm gonna come up on his door, full power, and then just use the brake pedal. And I somehow managed to hit his wheels there. That's what you don't want to do. Hopefully, this is not going very well right now, but hopefully, I can get to my point. Handbrake a little bit. And then I get on my brakes. Lift the brake a little bit. Just. Just lightly. Do, uh, brake movements so you can match his speed, the leader's speed. See right here, I'm in front of his car, handbrake. What? I don't know what's going on right now. I don't know if that's me, but he's throwing a lot of angle. So, hey, I'm gonna catch up to him by taking the inside light and then handbrake. And that should set me on the same line as his, and I catch up. I start to do my left foot braking inputs. And here I'm going to transition a little bit sooner than him. So that keeps me on his door. If you transition a little bit too late, uh, what happens is you end up like losing a lot of speed. Okay, that can't be me. I'm going to try to push him back. There, there you go. I'll try to show an example of what I mean by if you transition too late, you're gonna fall behind. I don't know if this corner coming up is a good example to do it on, but okay. I'll do it after this corner. So watch, I'm gonna transition really late. Now look what happens. You end up pretty far behind. And then you gotta take the inside line, handbrake, now I'm in the center of his door. And I just keep on the power until I can get close, and then I start doing my left foot braking. Also, like, sometimes during transitions I'll brake and handbrake at the same time, and that just kinda, oh, it's tired as well, but it keeps me from, like, Doing like a weird like surge and getting in his way it just keeps my speed down and I'm able to perfectly transition. Yeah, so we can get it going again. Now I'm on your lead. 
Hello, anybody? Hello, please. Okay, we're gonna. I don't know, he's probably gonna want me to lead though. Okay, I can't tell, he's just going to. Oh, let me. Let me see if. I can be in the back of a three man. Yeah, let's try this. Because this is a bit of a different scenario. So we gotta go. So here I'm gonna cut the inside a bit catch back up and then I'm going to transition a bit here early, handbrake, and now I'm on his door. I'm going to downshift a second just so I can get higher RPMs and allow myself to lift a brake. So in like when you're tandeming with more than another person like this, I mean, sometimes you can get like a person that's like not leading and they'll use their handbrake a ton, and that sucks for everyone else because then their line is like super inconsistent. But as far as a, a three man, usually what you want to do is just be like way more prepared for anything because I can't see the leader and then uh, the person that you're following could like check up really hard so like right here it's very important to be ready to step on your brakes while you're well, left foot brake while you're transitioning because it could be kind of harsh so like here I'll just get up on this door that's a bit laggy I see this is pretty consistent, which is nice, but you just want to don't you don't have to be drifting the whole whole time. That's what I see a lot of. Like there will be like a big train, and then like everyone's trying to drift constantly, and that just ends up people spinning out. Because like if someone makes a mistake up ahead, it's gonna be a lot worse for the per last person or people that are further behind. Shit, okay. So you're just gonna be just like ready on the brakes. I don't know if this is like a, an example of what I was just talking about is gonna happen here, but. See, like right there, I was paying attention and I was able to step on my brakes to avoid contact right there, even though I wasn't drifting. But this is a pretty good train right now, but I have a feeling someone's gonna lose one of their tires here in a second. See, that was kind of a bad transition right there, and I expect him to transition so early. So that made me, I wasn't prepared for that one. And you kind of sit there, I went, I lost my speed, yeah, I think Mara just lost his tire. Just do a little catch up by taking the inside line and that angle, and put myself right in the middle, get a bottom, start left foot breaking. He's probably about to lose one of his tires now. Also, when you're like transitioning, just st take your foot off the gas. Like, be hard on the gas to get yourself to start turning the other way. But like, as soon as you start going in the other direction, just take your foot off the gas to slow down the transition, and it should allow you to keep being right on the leader's door. Yeah, that looks like it. 
everyone has now lost their tires, so hopefully this video was somewhat of a help. I, it's, it's really hard to explain because it's like more of an experience thing and it does take a lot, a lot of practice. Like don't expect this to be able just to uh, get on someone's door as soon as you start playing, but also it's also important to have a person that doesn't mind when you smack into them. Because some people, like I wouldn't recommend going into the lobby and then just drifting with a random person. Obviously you need to find a consistent driver, but if you, some people get really angry if you're like slamming into them all the time, but me myself is like, that's kind of dumb because people are still trying to learn. Like, I don't, I don't care if you smack into me on accident, as long as it's not like you're doing it on every corner, because otherwise that does get annoying, but you need to, like, people need to be able to learn, so, and it's just a game, so it doesn't matter. Anyways, I hope this video somewhat helps you out, helps you out. I think I said that horribly, but anyways, uh, peace. I'm out.